these beads can be made into a rope or they can be made into a, uh, a bangle to put on our wrist or they can just be kept loose in a bowl. They can be used for meditation, they can be used for prayer. So you might like to use these in praying for your friends and so for example if you have a few different groups of people that you pray for during the day, when you take the first bead it might help you to remember to pray for these people that they would remember that they came out of the heart of God. And sometimes even praying that we would remember that we do live in a fallen world, a world that has fallen under the power of the curse. And then if we're praying around this bead, it helps us to remember that the power of the curse has been broken. And then perhaps it might be good to pray that somebody will remember that they are now free, that the power of the curse has been broken. But it's always good to come back to this bead in our prayers as well, the rainbow bead, where we surrender to Jesus and what is true becomes real. So that's a great bead to meditate on and reflect on during the day.